Welcome to the 200 interview topic series. You can repeat the answers after the beep. Let's get started. Question number one, is money important to you? Money matters to me, but it is not the only metric of success. In my opinion, the most important thing is to live a balanced life that includes meaningful relationships, a sense of purpose, and financial security. Question number two, are you good at saving money? Yes, I am skilled at budgeting. To stay on track with my savings and investments, I budget my income and practice mindful spending. I also use financial products to help me save and invest more effectively. Question number three, how do you save money? I save money by budgeting, putting money aside each month and cutting back on unnecessary spending. To get the most out of my purchases, I also use cash back and rewards programs. I also put money into savings and investments so that my wealth can grow over time. Question number four, do you invest your spare money? Yes, I do invest my spare cash. To build my wealth over time, I employ a variety of strategies, including stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate. I also use financial advisors and online tools to help me make better investment decisions. Question number five, why do people save money? People put money aside for a variety of reasons. Saving money can help people achieve financial stability and security, as well as long-term goals such as saving for retirement or purchasing a home. Saving money also provides security and peace of mind in the event of an emergency. Question number six, why do people care too much about money? Many people are overly concerned with money because it can provide them with a sense of security and control over their lives. Money can also be used to buy things that make people happy and comfortable, such as a nice house, car, or holiday. It is important to remember, however, that money is not the only measure of success, nor should it be the only focus in life. Question number seven, have you ever given money to children? Yes, I have provided financial assistance to children. I believe that teaching children financial literacy is an important lesson that will benefit their future. I've given money to children to teach them how to save and invest, as well as the value of money. Question number eight, did you save money when you were young? Yes, I did save money when I was pretty young. I began saving money in elementary school and continued to do so throughout my adolescence. My parents instilled in me the value of saving, budgeting, and investing at a young age, and those lessons have served me well over the years. Question number nine. 
Do you think parents should teach children to save money? Yes, I believe that parents should teach their children to save money. Teaching children the value of saving and budgeting will help them understand the value of money and prepare them to be financially responsible adults. Question number 10. Do parents give children pocket money in your culture? Yes, parents in my culture frequently give their children pocket money. The amount of pocket money given to children is determined by the financial situation of the family, but it is typically used to teach children how to manage money, save, and make responsible spending decisions. Question number 11. Do you think you will have lots of money in future? I hope to have financial security in the future, but I don't believe it is prudent to place too much emphasis on how much money I will have. I believe that a well-balanced life with meaningful relationships, a sense of purpose, and financial stability is more important than having a lot of money. Question number 12. Would you like to become rich someday? I don't want to be wealthy, but I do want to be financially secure. I believe I can accomplish this by making wise financial decisions, budgeting, and investing my funds. In addition, I believe that having a balanced life with meaningful relationships, a sense of purpose, and financial security is more important than having a lot of money. Question number 13. Why is it important for people to save some of their money? Saving money is essential for a variety of reasons. It can assist people in achieving long-term goals such as purchasing a home or saving for retirement. In an emergency, it can also provide peace of mind and security. Saving money teaches people financial literacy, which is a valuable life skill. Question number 14. Do you think that girls are better at saving money than boys? No, this is a myth that does not correspond to reality. Both men and women can learn to save money and be good financial managers. Saving money varies from person to person, regardless of gender. You can subscribe to the channel to get easy access to all future uploads. Happy learning. Thank you very much.